as with vegan special interest funding, it has become blatantly obvious that the carnivore, I mean carnivore diet, is part of the food supply control agenda where these elite psychopaths have a say in every single thing we put in our bodies. The recent collaborations with the vegan fairy boys and carnivores, ooh wee, have made this apparent to even the most naive people. You know, those who doubted me earlier last year when I called them out for being paid off for the special interest funding, even those people have come to my side. Raw Alignment being sponsored by ButcherBox, you know, was the first red flag. And John Venus collaborating with these carnivore diet influencers more recently, you know, I, I mean, who's still following these people? What is happening with the carnivore diet now is eerily similar to what happened with the push for grain-based products in the 1970s through 80s. High fructose corn syrup and everything, you know, food pyramid pushing 11 servings of bread per day, ultimately kicking off the obesity epidemic. Whole grains and vegetable seed oils are healthy. Now they're telling you feedlot meat is nutritious while buying 15 burger patties at McDonald's. What caused this to happen in the first place are agricultural subsidies, basically paying farmers so that the price of a commodity, corn, can remain low. Farmers started producing so much corn that prices are at a point that they actually lose money growing it. That is, without the subsidies. They have been incredibly successful at what they've wanted to do, forcing crap down people's throats. Corn, soy, wheat in the form of processed foods, and recently that has stopped working. You know, people are trying to remove these foods as the culprits in their diet that are causing them to gain weight, making them unhealthy, making them feel bad. The clever government has repurposed these products into two things, the vegan diet and the carnivore diet, and a bit here and there in keto and paleo. Coincidentally, the time that the carnivore diet was introduced on the Joe Rogan podcast lines up with their relaunch of the beef, it's what's for dinner campaign. We know that the vegan diet is full of processed corn, wheat, and soy products, a lot of their protein substitutes being based off of soy and wheat, and plenty of processed foods in general that are vegan are also based off of these you know, large-scale grain commodities. These subsidized grains are being processed into healthy plant-based alternatives, as opposed to that donut you used to buy. Too bad they're both awful for your health, at least the donut tastes good. If you haven't seen the documentary King Corn, it exposes this aspect of our food supply very well. You know, one interesting thing they say on there is that most of the carbon in our bodies is composed of corn. And by our bodies, I mean the standard American public. Now, in order to get people to buy these crap products, part of their marketing was anti-meat, meat is bad for you, fear-mongering people into doing things. They will scare you into doing things that are bad for your health, that make them money through the food system, through the medical system, whatever it may be. But this backfired in a way because meat sales went down too much. Meat sales uh, in regards to beef, uh, specifically have halved uh, since 1975-ish. I mean, chicken, pork, turkey, the rest of the meats are okay, but beef has bombed because red meat is the devil. They want to make money off their grain-based poisons, but they still want to make some money off of beef. And in order to have it both ways, they have funneled efforts into the keto and carnivore diet trends. This time, they are stuffing people full of estrogenic feedlot beef under the guise of helping people and improving their health. It's a complete joke. Helping people do what? Tank their hormones and poison themselves with agrochemicals? Before we go further into this, one reason why these foods are so unhealthy is because of these things they spray on crops, the fungicides, herbicides, pesticides, insecticides, the new GMO grains being used, and this translates to the tissue of the animal. Grains aren't inherently bad, just like beef isn't inherently bad. But once you stuff it full of chemicals, you have an issue. You know, you're not growing organic, biodynamic sorghum and giving it to cows. It might as well be a chemical at this point, what, what they have in the cattle feed. So meat sales are down, the vegan business is a booming, why not hire some influencers to promote a meat-only diet? 
a beef-only carnivore diet to increase red meat sales. Seems kind of crazy, but once you see how many publications the carnivore diet has been in, how mainstream it's becoming, you start to ask why. And this why is fairly easily answered with a few minutes of Googling. There are 90 million acres of corn in the United States. We can grow 180 bushels on average per acre, which is about 10,000 pounds of corn kernels. And keep in mind, that doesn't include the stalks and other roughage that is used in animal feed. This is 10,000 pounds of pure corn kernels. That's 900 billion pounds of corn per year in the United States, which lines up perfectly with the amount of cattle we have. You know, since a cow consumes approximately 25 pounds of feed per day, you know, they would need just over 9,000 pounds of feed for one year. And with the 90 million cattle we have in the United States, you know, we could literally just feed the cattle the pure corn kernels, let alone the corn silage, all of that other waste that is not counted in the bushel. And we're also not including the wheat, soy, and other grains that we're growing in the United States. Plus, we're also importing grains from other countries. So there is definitely a surplus of animal feed that we can't really use for anything else besides feeding animals. And if people don't want to eat the meat from those animals, that puts big agribusiness, the people in control of our food supply, in a position where they're losing money, where meat is going bad on the shelves. If you add it up, all of these grains we're growing in the United States, the amount of stems, leaves, that can be used for forage for animal feed, you can feed so many animals that the entire United States of America could follow a carnivore diet. That is how much meat we have, that is how much meat we can produce. All of this makes a lot of sense. These big agricultural companies have been controlling the food supply, the entire system for years and years, and the way they make money is by stuffing you full of cheap crap. Not only are they stuffing you full of this cheap crap, they're using clever marketing terms to do so and convince you that it's good for you. We mentioned the plant-based vegan nonsense disguising foods as healthy, and even if they're not healthy, it's under the guise that you're saving the planet, the environment, by poisoning yourself. Same with feedlot beef. Legally speaking, an animal is considered grass-fed if it was fed corn stalks its whole life, as long as it's not a physical seed of grain, a physical kernel of corn. And you can bet that these companies have jumped into the grass-fed meat market with their feedlot cattle. It's why I'm skeptical to trust any large American beef producer. And this isn't a matter of supporting local farmers or grass-fed beef producers. It's a matter of finding the liars so you don't poison yourself. All of these online meat companies that have popped up in the past few months, you know, dozens and dozens of them, are essentially conventional cattle farmers astroturfing, and their focus is to sell people this low-quality feedlot meat under the disguise of grass-fed or healthier. You know, they're using clever marketing tactics to sell you crappy grass-fed beef, conventional chicken under an organic label, yet still loaded with omega-6 corn and soy, and heritage breed pork, which is actually the same pork you get at the supermarket. Educate yourself on what quality animal products look and taste like. Stop letting these corporate crooks take your money and ruin your health at the same time. Go to a local farm. Ask them what they spray on the crops. Ask them what they feed to the animals. Find quality products. I'm not here to make money selling grass-fed beef. If I wanted to make money, I'd be doing the same thing all of these other crooks do. Buy cheap meat and use clever marketing tactics to sell it to you. My health, the health of my family, the health of most people you know has been compromised, ruined, if not completely destroyed by these psychos in control. Don't let them get away with it. If you see a carnivore saying grain-fed meat is okay, I have a cannon full of ammunition on my YouTube channel saying the opposite. You see a carnivore go to McDonald's? Criticize them for the hypocrite they are. Is there a vegan saying organic produce is worse than regular? He's a moron and wants you to suck down pesticides in your celery juice every morning. I am here telling the truth because I don't give half a shit if I have to drive this crappy 2001 Taurus the rest of my life. These elite crooks want to live their lives of luxury in their $7 million house castles, driving around $90,000 SUVs, all earned by being parasites off the hardworking and sheepish people of this country.
Every other carnivore influencer on YouTube is a special interest funded plant. The majority of vegan influencers are the same and there are people here and there that aren't special interest funded but most people have a price and they don't have people's best interest at heart. If you look at how all these pathetic low lives team up against me, you start to lose hope yourself. If there's so much bad in this world, if everyone's just trying to make money by selling you crap, why try to be the good? You know, being good requires sacrifice and human selfishness is ingrained in our biology. Become that objective and intelligent person that defies the odds and puts effort into everything they're doing. Uh, so thank you guys for joining me today. Uh, I'm gonna continue to fuck these assholes raw because I hate them. I really do. Uh, if you guys wanna support me, uh, you can check out the stuff in the description below. And uh, I'll see you guys for tomorrow's video.